Hello my friends and welcome to a brand new camera comparison between the OnePlus 10T and the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. On the 10T we are shooting at 1080p at 30 frames per second because sadly this is the maximum resolution this phone can shoot. On the S21 FE on the other hand we are shooting at 4K at 30 frames per second. Tell me in the comment section below which one do you think has a better audio and which one has better colors and better stabilization. Let's start with some samples from their main cameras, but first let me clarify the testing process. All of the upcoming daylight pictures are taken in auto mode without adjusting any of the settings. When it comes to image quality in daylight with their main cameras, both are really good. Obviously, there are some differences. For example, the 10T takes more muted pictures, while the S21 FE is a lot more vibrant. But in general, in most of the shots their main cameras were very reliable. They produced sharp pictures with great colors and good dynamic range. In some cases like here, I noticed that the S21 FE was brighter, but at the same time it doesn't look as natural. While the OnePlus 10T isn't as bright, but the colors are spot on as in real life. Overall both are very good, and honestly speaking they will deliver in most of the scenes. Sure, they aren't flagship level, but they are very reliable. They are also equipped with ultra-wide cameras, and once again they are very similar. The S21 FE seems to be slightly sharper in objects further away, but the 10T is very good too. The sky color seems to be better and more vibrant than Samsung, and also the white colors of the buildings are slightly better handled. I did also notice that the OnePlus 10T takes images with a cooler tone, while the images taken with the S21 FE are warmer. To me both are good, and whichever one you like let me know in the comment section below. With the ultra wide cameras it seems that the S21 FE is slightly better in general. Like I said earlier the sky color is more pleasing to the eyes, while it is too flat on the OnePlus 10T. Despite costing less money, the S21 FE has a better camera package since it also comes with a 3x optical zoom telephoto camera, while the OnePlus doesn't have a telephoto camera at all. If we grab these pictures, you can clearly see that the S21 FE is sharper, even though the 10T isn't doing bad despite only having digital zoom. In this next case once again the S21 FE is sharper and has better colors, while the OnePlus 10T isn't as detailed. But that's to be expected since the telephoto is missing here. The third lens on the 10T is a weak macro camera. As you can see from this image, the macro camera doesn't really give you good results. On the S21 FE however, this is the closest I could take the image without losing focus, since it doesn't have a macro camera or a macro mode. When switching to the telephoto camera on the S21 FE, Surprisingly, the flower is even closer compared to the macro picture on the OnePlus 10T, and it is also much sharper. This just shows that having a dedicated telephoto camera is much better than having a macro camera. Both these devices take portraits with their main cameras, and honestly speaking none of them are flagship level. I would say they are just fine. If we zoom in, as you can see, they aren't as sharp and most of the details of her face have been lost on both devices. Honestly, I was expecting more. Switching to the front cameras, and here in this case both are doing a fine job. The S21 FE continues to take vibrant pictures, while the OnePlus 10T is more realistic. Dynamic range, however, isn't nowhere near as good with our front cameras. The OnePlus 10T especially struggles a lot, and the sky has entirely been blown out. The S21 FE seems to do a better job with the sky, but my face is darker, so no clear winner here. Once again they are just doing fine. I do prefer here the OnePlus 10T since our faces are sharper and slightly brighter. The S21 FE is way too dramatic, which I don't really like. When recording 4K videos with our main cameras both are really good when it comes to stabilization. The S21 FE however is better with colors and dynamic range. With their ultra wide cameras the difference becomes bigger. 
The FE continues to be sharper and overall the quality of the video is much better. The 10T dips in quality quite a lot. At 3x honestly there is no competition, and the lack of the telephoto sensor is really noticeable. Moving to low light and from now on every picture is taken with night mode enabled, because I think this is how everyone should take night pictures. When it comes to image quality, compared to daylight, now I lean more to the S21 FE, because it managed to take more pleasing images. Pictures taken with the front camera of the 10T aren't as detailed as the ones taken with the S21 FE, and the colors are way too flat, which I don't really like. With their main cameras on the other hand they are both really good. The eagle on the foreground which is the symbol of my country is highlighted very well, especially on the OnePlus. In some cases however just like in daylight the differences were pretty big in color calibration. For example the 10T is a lot cooler compared to the warmer picture of the S21 FE. I do prefer the Samsung here. In some other shots like here, the S21 FE yet again is doing a better job in my opinion. The 10T itself is good too, but when compared to the more vibrant picture of the S21 FE, it falls behind. I do however think that both are really good, and the results shifted from one phone to the other, like here where the 10T is doing a better job with the sky and highlighting the umbrellas. When switching to the ultra-wide cameras on the other hand, the S21 FE is slightly better from the perspective of my eyes. The light bulbs on this scene are slightly better handled compared to the OnePlus 10T. Even with these flowers the S21 FE manages to take a more pleasing image, not to mention that the 10T is struggling more with the light flare. The ultra-wide camera of the S21 FE is a lot wider compared to the one found on the OnePlus 10T. It is also brighter, and the background is just as sharp as the foreground. Overall I kind of expected the S21 FE to win this round, since the ultra-wide camera found on the OnePlus 10T isn't really flagship level. Even though it isn't bad, it isn't that good either. When zooming in at 3x, the S21 FE of course continues to be better because of its dedicated telephoto sensor. It isn't really one of the best zoom cameras out there, but it is much more convenient than having to crop digitally. I feel like the OnePlus really missed an opportunity here to rival the S21 FE in terms of cameras. If it had a dedicated telephoto camera and a slightly better ultrawide camera, it might have been a much better phone. So guys what do you think? Tell me in the comment section below which one was your winner. And if you did enjoy this video feel free to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.